Welcome to the Composite Panel Builder Demonstration Series. In this session, I'd like to show you how to wrap uh, composite panels around rectangular and circular columns. After we do that, we'll um, add the sections and create the elevations, and then finally, the flat panel views. So to get started, what I'd like to do is zoom in around this rectangular column, draw a, rect a polyline from the center line of this side to the end point, endpoint back to the center. Now what I'd like to do is use the automatic wall joint utility to create a plan view of that. And there we go. So next thing I'd like to do is to add the section view on this side right here. And we'll do the same thing with the polyline. Snap to the bottom, snap to the top. Use our automatic wall joint utility again. Select it, create a section. There's the height of the panel. Now all that's left is to project the plan onto the section using project sides. We do the plan first and then the section and we'll start with X01. There's our panel. Uh, one more thing, we have to link the panel to this uh, detail. So there's a utility called Quick Link Plans and Sections. Highlight the yellow, highlight the panel number, we're done with the rectangular for now. Let's look at the circular one. Inside the composite panel builder utilities, there's a draw panels along arc function. So we'll click that. And before we started, I actually broke this uh, circle into two separate arcs. So we click on that, it gives us up all the properties of the circle or the arc, and uh, how, we, how do we want the panel to be uh, presented and we want it to be curved and on the convex side. And we only want one panel to fit around that half. So I'll use those um, settings, draw it, and then it throws in this little line for, um, for a planned wall. And what we'll do is use our uh, automatic wall joints against that to get some uh, fasteners. Now that we got the those done, let's do the column side, and that's a polyline also. Snap to here, but this time we'll, um, we'll create two, two halves to do this column. And we want to break it up a little bit. So then we use our automatic wall joint, which is a big deal. Create a section here, then we got our two separate sections. Now we'll project those first with the plan, then the section. Now we'll get um, the grid for the two panel locations. We're going to start with XO2, XO2, and XO3. Now, last thing for that is to link those with quick links, plans, and sections. Highlight the detail, then the two panels. Let's go off and uh, build those in the flat panel builder utility. We'll come in here, grab those three panels we just uh, created, and show them in that view. As you can see, uh, the curved wall, or the curved column, we get an automatic default to a separate piece to be drawn and cut in the uh, cutting process. What I'd like to do is change that to the V-notch setting. So just change it there, save it. Let's redraw all those panels one more time. And here we go. This time it'll draw them with a V-notch. And there they are. It throws the radius in and all the information about it. Now, you could say, well, that's only half the story because there's multiple, there's the other side of the column. Well, yes, there is. And we could just basically copy these using the copy uh, utility and changing the number. Or if you're, if you like to send one job to the uh, cutter machine, we can just duplicate the panel numbers freehand style like that and do that three for each panel and every time we drop in a a detail like that we uh, or, or this extra tag in parentheses it, it counts it as an, an extra panel that needs to be uh, generated so we could literally put tons of those in here and that's the count that would be uh, used. But actually the the field installers are going to need to have a visual on where these panels are physically located. 
So let's draw it one more time, and this time we'll um, get the uh, total total counts inside the uh, tags. So this would uh, force the cutter machine to actually produce uh, two of these. All right. In summary, this is the uh, this is the utility uh, or a group of the utilities inside the composite panel program that actually work in together to create the final product, which is the flat panel layout. So thanks for watching.